everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Arlene. Thanks for tuning in. As promised, I have a recipe for you today that's going to knock your socks off. It is a delicious, delicious homemade macaroni and cheese with really hardly any cheese. And it's the closest I've seen to the real thing. And it's one point per serving. I didn't check the blue plan or the green plan, but I know on the purple plan, it's one point per serving. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you what you're going to need to make it and how you're going to make it fast and easy. And it's delicious. Okay. So what you're going to need to make this macaroni and cheese is some roasted garlic. And I'll insert um, a picture on how I did that. You're going to need some boiled potato and boiled carrot. I only have three of these little carrots here and one medium-sized Idaho baking potato. You want to peel it. You want to boil those together. Of course, some salt and pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, some unsweetened almond breeze milk. I have here a little over three cups of the Barella whole grain pasta not the whole wheat it's the whole grain zero points on the purple plan i have one cup eight ounces of the milk here i have one quarter cup of the weight watches cheese which is actually two points for this if i was using the craft um fat free cheese then it would be zero points so actually we could make this for literally zero points if it wasn't for that cheese. Then over here, I have one tablespoon of fat-free sour cream, zero points. In this mixture here, this is the onion powder, the garlic, the paprika, the salt, and the pepper. I'll give you the measurements. And then we're going to be using some nutritional yeast. That's what really brings this whole dish together. And then on the top, I have homemade breadcrumbs which I made from a smart bun and I'll insert the little snippet video of how I made that. All right, so let's get so started. Here I'm making my breadcrumbs that I ground up that um, smart bun and I added some, just a little pinch of each, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, dried basil and dried oregano so to mimic real breadcrumbs and I'm just going to continue to fry this I did spray the pan with an olive oil spray and a buttered flavored spray both of them and I'm just going to continue to cook this until they get nice and crispy if you wanted to add some color to these you can also add a little paprika but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to use all of these on my macaroni and cheese. But um, this is only a half of a bun's worth. So this is not even the full smart bun. It's only half. And like I said, one smart bun is one point. So this is a half a point right here. And I'm not even going to use all of this. I don't know. I might. But it looks like a lot. And I can use this in meatballs. In chicken meatloaf, turkey meatloaf. I can bread a chicken cutlet with this and put it in the air fryer. Whatever you use regular breadcrumbs for, you can use this. So I'm just going to continue to let this get crispy. Doesn't get real, real crispy and hard like regular breadcrumbs, but it comes, you know, a little bit close. It does the trick, that's for sure. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to get our blender out. I have a Vitamix. It works amazing. Like, you can use whatever blender you have. And uh, that one potato, I'm actually going to put half of it in for now and then see the consistency. If I want it a little thicker, I'll add more. And I'm going to add the carrot. So as you can see, I didn't put all of that potato in. And that was just one, one medium-sized baked potato. Uh, not baked, I boiled it, I'm sorry. 
Then my roasted garlic. I roasted um, four, five, about 10 cloves, but I'm not gonna put them all in. I put maybe about five. After I blend it and I taste it, and if I think it needs more, I'll add more. I'm going to be adding our spices. The spices are a half a teaspoon, get a pen and paper so you can write this down, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a tea, I'm sorry, quarter teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of onion powder, and half a teaspoon of paprika. So I'm just gonna plop that in. Then over here, I have my one tablespoon of my fat-free sour cream. You want to make sure you get all that in there. That's going to add some richness and some creaminess to it. Then I am going to add my yeast. Now I'm going to be adding, let me see, it's three tablespoons for one point. Where did I put my tablespoon? I measured out my sour cream and then forgot to wash it. All right. So I'm, I'm going to be putting three, but I want to taste it after two. So two tablespoons of the yeast, the nutritional yeast, and the one cup of the almond milk. All right. Is that everything? I believe so. And I'm just going to blend this up. I'm going to start on low. Oh, I've got to turn it on. That would help. Okay. I just want to see the consistency of this and I want to give it a little taste. It might need more potato. Mm. If you don't like roasted garlic, garlic, you don't have to put it in, but I really like the, the roasted garlic. And I am going to add that third tablespoon of the, what the heck is that? A moth. Of the yeast. And another little chunk of potato. Now I'm going to add my cheese, my quarter of a cup. Now, if you had some turmeric, you could add some turmeric to this to get that really nice orangey color, but I don't have any. But you can add some turmeric to it, and that would be fine. So we just blended that for a little bit. Now let me give it another taste. Hmm, really good. All right, so I think I'm good with that. Now, I really like the taste of the, the roasted garlic in there. If you don't like roasted garlic, by all means, please omit that. You can change up your, you know, if you like a little bit more black pepper, if you like a little bit more salt, which I actually think it needs a little more salt, so I'm just going to add another pinch. just put regular garlic I you know it's so much stronger than the roasted garlic I would just add like one little tiny clove and because the roasted garlic has this um, you know that brownish color that's why it looks that color so now what I'm gonna do is I am going to just pour this over my three cups of noodles you could see that nice cheesy consistency that is from the potato and the carrot which of course is zero points. 
And if you think yours is too thick, maybe you added a little bit too much potato, then what you can do is just add more milk of the, the sweet almond milk. Not, not sweet almond milk, milk, the unsweetened. You could actually eat this right like this if you want. Mmm. I like it. I had made this for my mother, and she's so used to, like, the 50 points of serving macaroni and cheese, and she didn't like it. But I like it. I think it's delicious. I would eat this any day of the week. And, yeah. And for one point of serving, can't go wrong with that. So now what I'm going to do is I already sprayed my pan. I have my oven heated to 400 degrees. See how nice? And I'm just going to pour this in my dish. Like so. And then, these are the breadcrumbs that I made from the, um, what do you call it? From the smart buns. And I'm just going to sprinkle this over. And this is only a half of a smart bun. And I'm not even using all of it. I'm lucky if I'm using an eighth of it. So this is like one eighth of a smart bun. So you don't even have to count it as points. And I did season this with garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, some fresh parsley, basil, and oregano. You know, like a regular breadcrumb. So now I'm just going to pop this in the 400 degree oven for about 20 minutes and then I'll take it out and show you how it looks. Let's get this in the oven. All right, I'll be back. Can't wait to eat. I'm starved. All right, so while um, it's baking in the oven, there's like another five minutes to go. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about this nutritional yeast. If you've never heard of it or you never tried it, it's really delicious. It has a cheesy, nutty flavor. You can sprinkle this on popcorn after you spray the popcorn with the I can't believe it's not butter, and it's outrageous. I actually um, just wet like a rice cake with damp, a tiny bit of water, not even, like I take a damp paper towel and just dampen it and sprinkle this on so it stays on. And it's like eating a che a cheesy rice cake. You can put this on anything. Anything that you want to make taste like cheese, you can use this on. Um, vegans. This is considered like vegan crack. Because, you know, vegans don't eat dairy. And they use this for everything. Anything that you want cheese, you can put this on and make it taste like cheese. So that's really basically what makes this macaroni and cheese taste like cheese, is this. And it's nutrition for you. They call it a superfood. So, you know, you're not getting all that fat from real cheese, and yet, you know, you're doing something good for yourself. Um, you could just make the cheese sauce with just, say, if you wanted to dip nachos in it, you can heat it up in the microwave after you blend it. You could add some chopped jalapenos, make like a uh, like a case, quesadilla type, not quesadilla, what do they call it? I can't think of the word. I know what I'm trying to say though. <laughs> but anyhow, after you make the cheese sauce with just the potato and this and the almond milk, you can basically add anything you want to it. You can add some salsa to it and make that Tostitos like, you know, uh, what do they call it? Come on, guys, help me out. I can't think. Uh, the queso. I think that's what it's called, queso. Okay. I, like, a, uh, like a brain fart there for a minute. But anyhow, yeah, so you don't have to add the onion powder, the garlic powder, the salt, the pepper. If you don't like all that spice, just do the potato. You don't even have to do the carrot if you don't want. I just like the carrot. It gives it a little bit of a more orangey color. But like I said, if you have turmeric, you can add turmeric, and that'll also give it the color. But yeah, just add your boil your potato, add your milk, 
add this, a little bit of salt, and you have a beautiful cheese sauce. You don't have to do all the elaborate what I did. So you can play around with it, but the base of the, um, of the recipe is the boiled potato, the milk, and this. And then you add what you want. I happen to like this recipe with the roasted garlic and all the spices. I'm a spicy kind of gal. I don't like things bland, but you can make it however you want. I will put the recipe that I made in the description box below, but feel free to omit anything that you want and make it your own way. Just make sure you do the potato, the milk, and this the same. Okay, I would do it two tablespoons like I did and then taste it. And then if you think you want more, you can add more. But um, three tablespoons is one point on the purple plan. And that almond milk is one cup for one point. So, but because I did three servings over a macaroni and cheese, um, that's why I'm splitting it up and making it like one point each. So, yeah. So, this is really good stuff. I will link my Amazon link below where you can order yourself one. This bag is the cheapest that I found. Um, and it's about $8 and change with free shipping and what do you call it? With free shipping and, um, they act, I, I have prime and they actually delivered it within three days. So if you want to make this or macaroni and cheese or a nice cheese dip sauce for the weekend or for whatever, you know, order it now and you'll have it by the weekend. But it's really good stuff. I highly suggest you get it. This is the cheapest one I found and the best one. So, so go out and click on the link below and get yourself some of this. You won't regret it. On popcorn, on anything that you want to make cheesy, you can make any type of cheese sauce you want. And yeah, so now I'm going to, the bell went off. Let me see if this got nice and brown and crusty. It's been in for about 15 minutes. On 400 might have to leave it in a little more oh no this is bubbling let me see let me get this camera down here more all right so let's dive in and taste this it's gonna be super hot but that's okay mmm look at that let me taste Mmm, really good. I like it. Wow, after it's baked, you really taste that roasted garlic. So this is not your tra traditional plain macaroni and cheese, trust, I, you know, trust me by any means. It's very flavorful. Mmm, but look, ow, it's hot. Yeah, I really like this. Even with that, all that roasted garlic, that flavor really, really comes out. And these breadcrumbs are awesome. I'll insert a picture of the smart buns and a link where you can get them. And I think this week, um, up until Saturday the 9th, I believe they have a promo. Uh, Mom Hero, if you put the code in, you get 15% off your, your order plus free shipping on any order for this week. So that would be a good time to order your smart buns that are one point each. I really don't eat them unless they're toasted, like with a burger or on a sandwich. You really have to toast them, but they're great for breadcrumbs. I, I would just buy them just for the breadcrumbs. So, yeah. So thanks, everyone, for tuning in. I'm going to let this cool. It's really good. Very garlicky. So if you're not a garlic person, I would omit the garlic, but I love garlic, so this is right up my alley. Um, but yeah, I appreciate everybody that's tuning in, and everybody have a safe and healthy week. Try to stay on track. I know I am. Um, you know, do the social distance distancing thing. Uh, I want everybody to, to stay safe and healthy, and yeah, we'll all get through this together. We have to uh, champ on, as they say, and yeah, stay tuned for Thursday. Thursday, I'm going to have a beautiful dessert for you, a one-point dessert, and 
it's going to be delicious and I can't wait to make it for you. So thanks for tuning in. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscription button. Please hit that notification bell and I'll see you all Thursday. Bye-bye. I'm going to enjoy my macaroni and cheese. See you later.